A rainbow? There's someone here to see y'all. Says she knows you. Hi, I'm your long-lost discount relative, Rain Blonde Dash. This is Perfect Harvest MLP Studios. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. Perfect Harvest here. Hope you're well. Hope your June is going good so far. So, you'll recall a couple of weeks ago I bought one of the Pony Life Equestria Girls Fashion Squad figures from the Entertainer, the Twilight Sparkle one. And I've been umming and ahhing ever since about one of the other figures that was there, just because it looks very interesting. So, when I was on my lunch break today, I passed the Entertainer. It is, of course, Rainbow Dash. But um, how rainbow she is, we will just look into that in a bit. She was only £4, so I couldn't really resist, could I really? Let's take a look at the packaging first. So you've got the G4.5 My Little Pony logo up in the top left-hand corner. And then the Equestria Girls logo underneath. Fashion Squad in the bottom left corner. And uh, pictures of G4.5 Equestria Girls, Rainbow Dash and Pinky and Twilight on the right-hand side. Hasbro. Buy our toys! Nothing up in the top corner. War and peace of safety warnings on the back. Is there a sad onion? There he is. There's the sad onion for the connoisseurs. You know you're out there. Anyway, let's get her open because I want to see something about this. I know I probably pointed it out in my last video. Oh yeah, first off, let's see if it comes off. Had it not been for my finger going through the packaging, that wouldn't come off in one piece, so that's unusual. Um, I'll move Dashie to the side. Actually, no, let's have a look at her now. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh dear. That's not rainbow, is it? <laughs> I'm going to say this is a completely new character. I'm going to say this is Rainbow Dash's long lost sister, Rain Blonde Dash. <laughs> um, oh dear. Hasbro, what were you thinking? I mean, she looks cool, but anyway, we'll continue looking at her before we get to the accessories. So there's her face. She has the dark blue or dark purple pupils instead of the black pupils because she's from the Pony Life range. Is that red, orange, and then yellow at the back? She's got a little top. I'm not sure the, the patterns on it, but it looks like purples and blues and pinks. And she's got some little sort of gym shorts on, or running shorts on, um, which are, I guess, light blue. And they are removable as well. Oh god, it looks like she's got a swimming suit on now, doesn't it? Which is, well, I guess that's one of the good things about doing this. If you want to sort of chop and change them um, and have them as sort of like little beach scenes, I guess that's one of the go-tos of it. Yeah, not a lot else to say about the figure. She's got what I can is a polo shirt and that seems to be a very bright highlighter pen pink and then she also has two sandals which they, yeah they're open toe sandals I have no idea what color they are they look purple and again yeah it doesn't really matter oh god they they're round I mean, I know they're supposed to be sort of round because, you know, equestrian girls and horses has, have hooves and they're round. But, that's, yeah, that's weird. Round feet. And so, here is Rain Blonde Dash in all her gear. Um, that actually quite suits her. I mean, I know, you know, let's ignore the obvious fact, but, you know, I guess, because I think this is a beach sort of thing, because... Uh, with the sandals and that, and uh, the Twilight figure that I unboxed a couple of weeks ago, she got like a little anchor on her top, so I guess it's sort of like a seaside thing they're going for. So here is the Pony Life Fashion Squad Rainbow Dash that we've just opened, and here is the original Fashion Squad Rainbow Dash from 2018. As you can see, I mean, yes, this one 
doesn't have a full rainbow, I mean, but she does have all the colours in her hair. And yeah, there's no competition here really, is there? <laughs> I almost forgot to mention this. Uh, this one, the older version, has much more rubbery hair, whereas this hair is pretty much hard moulded plastic. It is a little bit flexible, but nowhere as flexible as that. And also, I almost forgot to mention that like the older Fashion Squad toys, the legs are poseable on single pivot joints, which is a bit difficult with the clothing because if she goes too far, then uh, her shorts will start to come off. And uh, similarly with her arms on her top, actually, yeah, that's beginning to roll up there. Um, yeah, and also her head is poseable on a ball joint, so she can nod up and down and tilt her head, look side to side, and that all, all that gubbin. Let's just return to this. We've seen Rainbow Dash figures where she's just got red mane, so she's either Red Dash or Fire Dash, as I like to call her. I've never seen Rain Blonde Dash. Let's bring the old one back in. I mean, look, she's got, well, she's at least got red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, or lilac in. And then this one has literally just got red, orange, and yellow. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still a really nice figure. It's still very well made and that, but Rainbow Dash has bro. I wonder how many people in the MLP fandom in the past 10, 15 years have brought this up and said, uh, Hasbro, she's Rainbow Dash, so where's where's the rainbow then? Uh, anyway, well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it and you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment if you fancy, and subscribe if you haven't already. And the two of us will see you very soon. Cheers for watching, guys. Take care. And so, here is Rain Blonde Dash in Oops. And you'll open up your window and you'll suddenly find that a peanut has knocked on your door. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But if you understand this, then you're mad. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And the singing is also quite bad.